Hello, this is Mr. Weirich. I'm here today to talk to you about lesson 7 1 ratio of proportion. A ratio compares two different quantities. We say it A to B or A to B. Either, either way it's written, we still say we compare A to B. So there's a 1 to 1 ratio or a 1 to 2 ratio of guys to girls in the class. You have to be careful how you say that. Uh, make sure you're saying the, the proper one first. Uh, you can also talk about this if it's a measurement of a room, like it's 10 feet by 20 feet, 10 to 20 or 10 over 20. Uh, an extended ratio is where we're dealing with triangles or some other shape where we have more than two. So it would be A to B to C. So if we have a, a right triangle, it would be three to four to five on the sides. And then if we double the length of all of those sides, the ratio would still remain the same. 3 to 4 to 5, even though it's 6, 8, and 10, they're all divisible by 2, so we can shrink down that ratio just like it's a fraction. A proportion is where we're dealing with two equal ratios, two fractions that we say are equal, and it's A is to B as C is to D. So if we're talking about uh, rooms, or uh, let's say TV screens, it's usually 16 across, by nine up. So if it's eight inches across, it's gonna be four and a half up. If it's 48 inches across, it's gonna be 27 up. And it'll still maintain that 16 by nine ratio. So 16 is to nine as uh, 48 is to 27. So then we have the means and extremes. The extremes would be the, the first numerator, the second denominator, and the mean would be the first denominator, the second numerator. Whatever you need to do to label those to keep them straight in your head. If you look at the book itself um, on this page, which is 462, it has them color coded, which might be a good way to put them into your notes to help you remember which one is the mean and which one is the extreme. This is all that we'll be dealing with on lesson 7-1, and then we'll take it up a notch. We'll get into um, how we're going to apply these in lesson 7-2. We'll see you then.